Hey, good morning everyone. It's Daphne from Scrap and Create and I'm here today to do some reveals. Um, we've got two brand new Graphic 45 collections and then we also have um, two uh, Graphic 45 um, collector's editions. It used to be called Deluxe Collector Edition. They dropped the Deluxe. Okay, so something's new with this release. They decided to get rid of the flowers, the die cut flowers. And so now you still have the die cut ephemera. And then you're going to get um, tags and frames, which I'm excited about. I like the tags and frames better than the flowers. Um, I prefer if I'm going to use flowers, I want them to be dimensional. So I'm kind of excited about that. I haven't used them yet. And then, of course, there's a, a accompanying stamp set that goes with this. Life is abundant. This collection reminds me of um, an older collection that they made. Uh, what was it called? Sketchbook or notebook or <laughs> sketchbook notebook or something like that, um, where the colors were very similar and I really liked. Now this abundance, Life is Abundant, is a calendar collection. So what does that mean? That means you get 12 double sheets, 12 double sheets, which is really nice. Instead of eight, you get two of each. So 24 sheets in this pack. Okay, let's get started. Let's look inside. As usual, I haven't looked at it. I wait and do that with you guys. So that's the cover sleeve. Here's page one. The best is yet to come. And again, you get two of each. So you get 24 sheets in the um, scrapbook pack. I need to scoot that over a little, I see. And it doesn't have, you don't have to do a calendar um, project with this. Um, they don't, you know, mention, there's one small part that says February on this page, and that one had January. So you still have a lot to work with that doesn't identify it as a calendar page if you want to work around it. I think it's gorgeous. Now, because it's a calendar page, they don't have like a couple of sheets of just cut aparts. They come for each one of these. And a similar collection um, a couple years ago was uh, Fashion Forward, same thing. So they might have um, an identifier on the page, but it's not like it's in every single part. This is really pretty. It's very, very rich colors. Okay, there's April. I like the eggs. They're pretty botanical in nature. Okay, here's May. I love having a stripe. Oh, you could fussy cut these. June, got a poppy flower. Oh, I love the bumblebees. They're so sweet. Look, my nursery was was bumblebees for my son. July. That's neat. That's pretty. These are gonna make really cute cards. Here we go with August. Got your blueberries and strawberries. And ladybugs, and there's the bee again. Ooh, I, I haven't done a graphic in a while and I'm itching to do one. Got some owls here on September, some fall foliage. October. Nature does not hurry, yet everything is accomplished. Very, very true. Okay. Winter, fall, winter colors. You could easily use these colors um, on a trip to the pumpkin patch. And then December definitely looks more winter. That's, that's pretty. That light. Lightning bug. Okay, so that is the collection pack. And then you get this 12 by 12 sticker pack. Now, um, there is also an 8 by 8 collection pack. And what they've done... Oh, I take that back. I thought there were stickers in this. I guess not. 
only only in the DCEs. The 8x8 packs have stickers in the DC, the collector's editions. And they've scaled down the stickers in the 8x8 and they don't match. So it's a variety of stickers. So you don't get the same stickers in both packs, which is kind of nice. And the ones that you do get are scaled down. So in in the color in the new edition, you're going to get a 12 by 12. Only in the 12 by 12, not the 8 by 8. Okay, now let's look at the patterns and solids for this collection. Lovely. And you're going to get three of each. No, nope, sorry, two of each because it's a, it's a calendar collection. These are pretty colors. This is going to be fun to work with. I'm going to do something with this whether I put it out on YouTube or not. <laughs> and then um, you get two sheets um, of the calendars if you decide to um, uh, do something with the month to month. And then, of course, if you decide not to, you still have these beautiful um, flip sides that you can integrate into your collection and uh, just make it be a nature's album. So that's Graphic 45's Life's Abundant. And again, it comes in 12 by 12, 8 by 8. The 8 by 8 is two of each of the 12, two of each of the 12. We have the stickers, I'm sorry, stamps, the frames, and tags, which I'm excited to use. There's the flip side. I haven't, I haven't used them yet. But I wasn't a fan of the flowers. And then there are still some die cut flowers in here. They're just not the kind of flowers that you normally label. And so, as you can see, there's a couple of them over here, but mostly it's die cut images. Okay, so that is Graphic 45. Life is abundant. Okay, the next Graphic 45 is going to be Let's Get Artsy. Let's get artsy. Okay. So it comes with stickers. Right now we have the ephemera, assorted ephemera in stock right now. Our bundles for this collection do not include the die cut ephemera. So this would be the equivalent die cut ephemera. We don't have, I said that backwards. We don't have the frames. Um, there was some issue with graphic 45 getting the frames to us. So at some point we will get them. And it will be part of the bundle, but if you order this bundle today, it'll be less the frames and the, it'll be priced differently accordingly. So the price will go up when we add the frames. So if you know you want the frames, wait. And if you don't usually use the frames or aren't interested in those, you can order and it'll be slightly cheaper because it won't, it'll be missing one of these tags. Okay. All right. Let me show you the backside of this. So there's the die cuts. For this collection and again the frames and tags are what's missing okay and then it comes in eight by eight like i said and there's uh three sheets of the eight by eight because this is a regular collection not a calendar collection okay let's get started on the scrapbook pad get, get a little more space here so there's our beautiful cover It's really vibrant. It's beautiful. I think I'm going to do something with this one too. So you're going to get two of, of the eight designs. Look at how beautiful that is. Pretty. I have a request to do um, a project in this for a birthday. So I think I will be putting something together in a mini album format. That's so pretty. Ah, I love it. This would be great for, you know, trips to the museum that you want to document, birthday, or any, any, um, any artistic people in general, I think are going to enjoy something made from this collection. Very pretty. 
it's interesting that you've got, you know, modern, traditional, you've even got some botanical. It's a real variety. Oh, look at the flip sides. I always love the flip sides. <laughs> That's real pretty. And you get two of those, right? Beautiful. Okay. And then there is our 12 by 12 sticker sheet. Lots of stickers. I typically um, back them with cardstock just to stiffen them up a little bit and then use them as embellishments throughout. But of course you can use them as is. They're adhesive on the back. Okay, here's our patterns and solids. Did I do two? No, I just picked up one. That's very whimsical. I love their patterns and solids. Even though some of the other uh, companies are starting to do it, their their backgrounds are still too much of a statement. Um, it's so nice to have cardstock like this with a very, very faint pattern um, and then only have like two colors. So it's much more muted and allows you to layer your projects. Um, when you have, you know, cult multiples on top of multiples with color it gets very hard to look at okay it's a beautiful blue all the colors are beautiful okay got that pattern back it was in yellow in the front and this looks very art deco so that is Let's Get Artsy. So again, we have the 12 by 12 um, collection pack, the patterns and solids, the 8 by 8 collection pack, stamps, the ephemera die cut, and soon we will also have the um, tags and frames, frames and tags, sorry. I don't think about that. It's new, so I'm not used to what it's called. Okay, let's look at now. Let's go ahead and look at um, our collector's editions. So we have two, and here we go. So um, love notes. And so with our love notes, you you get three sheets of all double sided packs, and the reason you get that third sheet is because they don't release patterns and solids with it. Which is fine because there's enough, if you have three of each sheet, the flip sides are usually a more muted design. I love this page. So um, you can use that as your pattern or solid. Now I do have an existing album out um, with the original collection. So you could use that as the base for an album here and then just substitute a few of the patterns um, I forgot there's three to make the album. Okay, it's pretty, isn't it? This was fun to work with at the time. Oh, yeah, I forgot about these little hearts. Aren't they cute? So, music. Then, here you've got a sheet of cut aparts, which, as I recall, I definitely used in the in the um, the original project. piano keys, hearts, and notes. That's my puppy. She's telling me it's time for us to do something. I'm kind of pressed for time today. Going to a, a retreat, so I'm excited about that. I'm going to go so see some friends. Okay, and then here's the other cut apart, and I know I use these as well. Um, there you go. It's a beautiful, beautiful, rich collection. You also get a sticker sheet. Now, as I mentioned um, earlier, there's a sticker sheet with the 8x8 collector's edition, um, and the, the actual stickers are different. So you can see this has um, like a chevron 
and then this has a scalloped edge. So they're slightly different and considerably scaled down. So they work better with the scaled down images inside this pack. So that's new with this release of this collector's edition and the next one I'm going to show you. So I think that's kind of nice. Um, a lot of times I like to use the larger ones because I like it to be a feature on the page. And the way I design my albums is really that the pictures go on the flip side, not the top side. Um, but if you want to embellish your photos themselves, this is a much better scale, if that makes sense. I use these more as a design feature. I would use this more as an embellishment around the edges of a photo. Okay, so that's the beautiful love note. And then the last graphic 45 I have to show you is Imagine. I also have an album of this out online. This is an, an older collection we haven't seen in quite a while. So it's a little steampunkish, although I wouldn't say the colors are that. So it comes in eight by eight. Again, it has its own sticker pack. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside. It's been so long, I can't remember. Okay, there we go, Imagine. Again, you get three of each one. So typically I would use the bold statement and then pull in my back for the rest of the design. Look how beautiful that is. I love a stripe. It really helps break things up. Okay. Lots of cut aparts. These are pretty. Each one of these is really pretty. Lots of butterflies. Balloons. I love the balloons. Okay, more butterflies. I remember fussy cutting these. I'm not sure my hands are up for it anymore. <laughs> Lovely stripe. Lots of cut aparts. It's great for a card maker. And more balloons. And you've got this pretty clock in the background. And these little clusters of flowers are really easy to, to fussy cut out. Even the this as a set, you could fussy cut and pop against something. Very pretty. Okay, that is Graphic 45, Collector's Edition of Imagine. Okay, that's it for the Graphic 45 releases. I'll be back shortly with a second video that is going to go over all of the new Stamparina releases, which are huge because there's so many elements in each one. So I'll be back soon.